Good morning. It is me, Melissa Fishinalis. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, guess what today is? It's December 1st, and that means it is the first day of Vlogmas. Is that still a thing? I don't know, but I'm gonna make it a thing. And um, so for every day of December, I'm going to try my hardest to get at least one video out a day. And um, I don't have a lot of important things I'm doing but I'm just gonna try and chronicle some stuff right now I'm sitting so that's fun no I'm just <laughs> um I thought it would be nice I try I've tried several times to do vlogmas um and I know I talk about it on here a lot but um I actually lost my mother around Christmas so the past few years Christmas has not been really on my top priority I always dread it because it's around the time that my mom passed and um, so for the past couple of years I just throw things together last year I had just moved um, and I still have boxes here that I've been avoiding so it's crazy um, yeah around this time last year I had just moved and was um, on my pre-op diet getting ready for my gastric sleeve surgery um, excuse me so I did what I had to so do I thought it would be nice um, and it would be like a like encouraging myself to participate in the holiday this year I know it, it's a hard time for people who are struggling my heart goes out to anybody that feels like that I didn't want to make this a big like long spiel but just know that there's somebody that understands because I myself would be happy to know or not happy but I would be grateful to know that there's somebody that understands that struggle that goes on at the holidays but that being said um um i'm trying to figure out what i'm doing today um first of all i gotta do something about this bun because we can put it in a bun but we don't have to always put it in a bun um but yeah let's go i'm gonna take a shower probably wash my hair but it's really cold and so I'm gonna blow dry my hair and hopefully I look a little bit more presentable in a few. So I'll be back. I'm going to my bathroom. But I wanted to show you guys the one. Please don't mind my my bathroom needs renovation. So don't don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look at it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys. I already started getting ready. This is my first um decor let me step back a little bit i have the front facing camera look it says what does it say merry christmas and i have my brown rug that matches the tree it happened to my yeah i just want to show you my bathroom i could have did it that way dumb dumb oh. not dumb i gotta start you gotta start speaking to yourself better that's a note to everybody but So I have washed and blow dried my hair. Um, I just saw a commercial for Sonic. I am hungry right now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I'm actually watching Cinnamon Toast Ken. Let me know if you um, watch any of their things. I love the little commentary. Um, but excuse me, I'm not letting you see my house. You see my double chin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, my goal for t that took me like two hours. That's ridiculous. I, I really went into the shower around nine o'clock and now it's 11. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do a video soon about hair and stuff. You see my hair, I did have a little hair shedding, like extra shedding. And you could see my hair looks kind of thin at the hairline. And that's the hair that's growing back. It's really short. But 
it doesn't look like it because my hair has a lot of volume but I'm holding on to every last bit that's here and my hair is actually my hair is blow dried and it's funny because it's still not at its final form it's it it, it uh, I'm looking at my my ends that you can see through I hope I don't have to trim my hair I probably won't trim it a lot but my hair still my hair still has some ways to go for you know if I flat iron it you'll, you guys can see how long it is but no point in that anyway I am hungry I'm hangry so right now I am gonna just eat some oatmeal that I made earlier um, it's just regular old-fashioned oatmeal with um, with uh, the protein the peanut butter not protein but PB2 powder in it has about six grams of protein but I only ate half of it because of, um, I felt full but it does you know it's easily digested so I am definitely done digesting that and I am hungry again I am looking for my bowl um, so I was thinking because I, I bought a, a new comforter um, today's the only day I have had to relax this week so I am thinking I'm taking the day off from being busy I did get on the computer for a second and um, I do have something I need to do but I feel like I should do that later like I really feel like I lost a whole bowl I'm sorry I'm a little distracted how do you lose a bowl in your house did I eat upstairs that's not good but as you can tell I need to clean so I'm gonna dirty in the bowl that I know did I finish it y'all it's so much going on i just got um a new cookware and not cookware but new oven and then now i need probably some new cookware because i had the basic like starter apartment kit um uh, uh, along with some pieces that i added along the way of life um and it's officially time to adult and get a real set but i am trying to still be what's the word conservative with my purchases because i'm still trying to buy stuff for christmas decorations wise and everything else wise um so I'm trying to be conservative with that. So I'll be going to the dollar store and doing some DIYs along the way. Um, that will probably be today's Wednesday. So um, tomorrow I'll probably take you with me to do that. I am really concerned. I'm looking out the window right now. I look a little bit crazy I don't know this is probably boring but <laughs> um yeah I have a little bird feeder and yesterday I just threw seeds everywhere because the birds were kind of like I have a blue jay that just like yells at me when the bird feeder is empty I swear and um so yesterday I threw seeds everywhere because I'm like y'all y'all are waiting for me but you guys don't want to come you know I'm trying to be like um what's her name i'm trying to be like snow white in the in the forest with my my pets and stuff my animal friends i have to reheat this so i'm trying to be like you know snow white with my animal friends in the forest and they won't let me be great they just yell at me for seeds have you heard a blue jay call if i can find it like a sound bite i'll insert it here but it's no <laughs> that's what it sounds like so just so you can't see my perspective but i think i'll turn the camera around so here's my little bird feeder inside of the house 
here's my side yard because it is fall heading into winter um usually there's like four or five chipmunks and not chipmunks there's four or five squirrels up there at a, at a time just like casual just casually strolling around digging holes in my yard and they're not here today i don't know if i'm too late but i don't know so no woodland creature friends today um they just take my seeds and run away and have their own jolly good time so i need to cook or reheat this um oatmeal i'm gonna eat that and then i will probably bring you guys back on so that you can see um i'm gonna try and make those egg bites that you can get from um starbucks so i'm gonna make that and i'm gonna make some soup and hopefully you don't mind watching that and my i'm trying to do at least one thing christmas wise or christmas related a day which um let's just say i don't have everything i need for that so um the least i'm gonna i can do is get these um i got some christmas blankets and stuff so i'm gonna try and do my bed but i bought a nice big comforter that i cannot wash in my washing machine so i'm going to have to go to the laundromat and um, use a commercial washer i just hate the laundromat i hate it but um that's the plan my stomach is really mad at me right now because it wants to eat right now and i'm really craving like some eggs and or, or like it's not even like i'm craving something unhealthy i think i'm really wanting some substantial protein. I don't, I don't know like how my, my hair is looking thin right there. But anyway, I'm craving some substantial protein. I don't even know if it's warm. I'm trying to reconstitute these. My body's just... Y'all, I put um, my coffee creamer in it because it's um, sugar-free. My body don't even want this. My body wants um some eggs. You know what? I'm going to make me an egg. So, I don't know. You might be new to my channel, but I like um, Korean food a lot. And I have discussed it and even made some things on my channel or maybe one thing um but i saw and i have never seen this in my life i've always eaten oatmeal and they kind of a sweet thing with oatmeal but i saw uh, uh this this korean youtuber that does um this korean to youtuber that does what's the word she does like food vlogs what i eat in a day type vlogs and um shows her diet and um she always she's made oatmeal but her oatmeal is um always like a savory oatmeal like she'll put um i'm trying to think I, i'm losing my train of thought i hate when this happens but um she makes oatmeal and it's savory. Like I'll see her put um, sesame oil in it, which actually sesame oil can be either sweet or savory, but she never puts any like sugar in it or sweetener. Like she's on a diet, so you know, she does use sweeteners and other things that are, um, but like a non, like a sugar substitute. And she'll, she'll um, make her oatmeal, but then eat it with like fried fish or something not fried but uh grilled fish and it blows my mind i'm like what but i'm thinking it's the same thing as when people make you know we have this big argument over grits in the community like you either like sweet grits or savory grits like you like your grits like 
with um, like my family is from my great grandmother was from Alabama. My grandfather on my dad's side were from Alabama. On the other side, my grandmother was from Georgia. Both of them taught me to eat grits with like seasoned salt, butter, salt and pepper, what have you. But I, I took a liking to Laurie's, so I was put Laurie's. I have to have a specific type of seasoned salt. Um, but it's I think it's just funny because there's people who eat the grits with sugar and, and whatever they want to put in it. But I, I don't know, something's cracking over there. But I would eat my grits with like fish or shrimp, like fried fish. Anytime we would get like water fried fish, my great grandmother would save fish and then put it back in the oven for the next day. Or the next day she'd put it in an oven and we'd eat the grits and the fish together hot sauce all that goodness so i'm st standing here like my body's yelling at me like this ain't meat <laughs> this ain't protein no I'm, I'm dead serious that's what my stomach said to me this is not protein i don't want this and even just now tasting it it's good i make a good oatmeal it's thick but my body wants some more extra protein. There wasn't enough protein, it was only six grams and I had to eat two servings to get the six grams. Um, I do have a protein shake, which I'm probably gonna drink later, but it's a liquid, so my body kinda, want, kinda wanted tuna. I kinda wanted tuna, but I think because I have a whole idea for the tuna. I mean, I'm gonna, I want to make the tuna in like a sushi style and eat it with some cucumbers. But I feel like I'm gonna make an egg and put it on top of my, my oatmeal. Is that crazy? I don't know. So luckily I have some eggs left. So I'm only gonna do one. This gives me a chance to to uh, ignore the thing, I'm gonna work on that. But this gives me a chance to um, use my nice little, my brand new stove. I have a griddle in the middle. The middle of my stove, isn't that cool? Uh, I'm gonna wipe it down real quick and ignore my mess. Like I said, that's part of my day. Don't mind me also, I'm looking at myself. Like, I haven't really recorded my full body in a while. So I look a little bit different. I'm not gonna show you all the goods today, but. Yesterday I finally bought some new jeans for the first time since I've lost any weight. And. <laughs> I am just, y'all can't tell me nothing, that's all. Nobody can tell me nothing. So, let's turn this on. You guys get to see this in person for the first time. That's gonna dry. I'm gonna eat some more oatmeal. Please forgive any mess you've seen. Like, this is a very active kitchen. I've been cooking. I cooked last night, cooked this morning. I was supposed to put the stuff away but i have a very bad problem with my dishwasher in that this stove is too big like it's bigger than the last stove i had the dishwasher would like just grace graze the stove because it was like no space in between the stove and the dishwasher but now i didn't realize and I didn't think about that, it, that as an issue because it would still open. But now I have this new stove. This stove is is like a half an inch or maybe actually more than a half an inch. It's literally like probably an inch or an inch and a half wider. Like, I don't know, I don't know math. And this is my problem. So I, I, I it's kind of my partially my fault because I didn't, measure up against the dimension of how far this goes back into the uh 
wall cabinet it doesn't go in the wall i don't know i don't i don't know adulting this is what i'm telling you guys i mean i've been an adult but i did not test if that was non-stick i hate the feeling of eggs on my hands I love to cook, but I hate that feeling. So any other moms out there have kids that literally like use every dish in their house and every dish, like nobody fried anything. Why did they need this to scrape out leftover macaroni when they could have used, excuse me. They could have used their fork. There's no respect in this house food. Okay, so that's getting stuck. Uh, um, kinda don't know what to do now. I wanted a easy over, easy. Is that how you call it? Easy over, over, over easy. Well, it is non-stick. It's non-sticking, but it's not. I have it like on the outer edge of where the fire is, so I don't think that it's too hot right here. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. So now I'm seeing like in real time what happens with the What is this called? A skillet thing in the middle? I can't wait to use this to make a big breakfast. So, like, maybe put the pancakes in the middle and then put, could put the bacon. I'm so, you guys, I haven't even had an oven for a year. And the burners on the other stove, only one worked perfectly. So I would just gravitate to that one burner and the other ones, you would put it on high, but it looked like it was on like medium low or worse. So, I mean, I don't cook everything on high, but still, when you need high, you need high. You need like, if this is my main bar, everybody has a main burner. Everybody has a favorite burner, right? If you're cooking like pasta, you gotta, you wanna saute the, the meat and whatever you're putting in your sauce right here, right? Don't you need your big pasta pot to boil? Don't mind me, I just started smelling something. I was wondering if my hair was falling out and burning in here. That's kind of gross and weird. I don't want to lose my bag. Oh, it's not over easy, it's over disgust. It's not over easy, guys. It's over awesome. I don't know. So my taste buds have changed a lot since I got VSG. I'm literally just gonna scrape this egg in to my oatmeal. My oatmeal is kind of sweetened and kind of, kind of don't care. I'm gonna throw salt and pepper on this baby. Where is my little? Salt. That was a lot of salt. There, that's done. That slid right off. I'm throwing it on the top of my oatmeal. Let me turn that off. Um, it seems easy to clean that too. So this is the stove of my dreams. The oven has an air fryer in it, and I got it installed right before 
um, the day before Thanksgiving, crazy enough. And I decided after staying up all night doing hair, not even mine, my daughter's, and I conked out and was like, woke up and to do more hair. And then was just like, I give up. I'm not cooking for Thanksgiving this year. I went to a friend's house and lost my train of thought again. That happens a lot to me. Do you notice that? I put a little bit of sesame oil. And I put a little bit of garlic powder. So that's there. That's gonna give me a little boost. I would put sesame seeds in it too, but I'm gonna take it over the top. So that is second breakfast. You can taste it. Okay, that's really good. Listen. It might seem crazy, but that is tasty. I'm going to finish that and get back to the regularly scheduled program. I hope this video isn't too long for anybody to watch it, but also I hope you watch it and enjoy spending some time with me today.